Israel's historic Chandrayaan 2 mission was launched on 22nd July 2019. But the mission was unsuccessful as the lander Vikram crashed when it got diverted from its intended trajectory during its soft landing on the moon. Now, four years later, the Indian Space Research Organization is ready to launch Chandrayaan 3 in July. The mission's objective was similar to Chandrayaan 2, like demonstrating a precise soft landing and rowing capabilities on the moon's south pole, conducting in situ scientific experiments and conducting and demonstrating new technologies required for interplanetary missions. The question is, why is ISRO so keen to do soft landing of its spaceship on the south pole of the moon? And why the south pole of the moon is so important? Are there any other countries that have done soft landing on the moon before us? And what if the mission fails? In the end, ISRO is incurring around 600 crore rupees to launch Chandrayaan 3. Let's find out. But first, please comment and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to the Money Control YouTube channel. After the ill-fated Chandrayaan 2 mission, ISRO is ready with Chandrayaan 3. In fact, Chandrayaan 3 has already reached the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota ahead of its launch in July. Just like the Chandrayaan 2, Chandrayaan 3's lander is supposed to do soft landing on the moon. But why does ISRO deliberately want soft landing? And what is soft landing? First, to do in situ experiments on the moon, that is, experiments at the original place, ISRO must land its lander on the moon's surface without any damage. Generally, a lander can land in two ways, hard landing and soft landing. In hard landing, the spacecraft will land intentionally on the moon's surface and there is high chance of the rover and lander getting damaged on the landing. Hence, ISRO might not get to do any scientific experiments if the rover is damaged. On the other hand, soft landing is about reducing the lander speed for a perfect touchdown without damaging it. But to successfully do a soft landing, it takes works too. Until now, only three countries, the US, Russia and more recently China, have been able to do a soft landing on the moon. The next question is, why ISRO wants to land its spacecraft on the moon's south pole? The moon's south pole is relatively less explored region. The area under the shadow of the south pole is much larger than at the north pole. It is expected to provide opportunities to study signs of water, ice and minerals. Its craters have been untouched by sunlight for billions of years. Hence, it offers an undisturbed record of the solar system's origins. And no other country has ever landed on the South Pole. India will be the first country if it is successful in its mission. Chandrayaan 3 will consist of a lander, a rover and a propulsion module. The propulsion module will carry the lander and a rover to 100 km lunar orbit. After reaching this orbit, the lander and the propulsion modules will separate. The lander module refers to the complete configuration of the lander and rover fitted inside the former. The lander is also equipped with X-band antenna which ensures communications. The rover is rectangle shaped and has fixed wheels and a navigational camera. After the failure of Chandrayaan 2 mission, ISRO has made changes to Chandrayaan 3 for a precise landing on the moon. The mission is designed to navigate the terrain conditions better while attempting to land on the surface and deploy the rover. Hope Chandrayaan 3 will be a successful mission that will propel India as the next space hub in the world.